in politics, 24 hours, is a fascinating period and so much can change and twist and turn along the corridors of power. So I just can't wait to see what's going to happen that day and to share it with the viewers. Of course, nothing beats live television and the ability to bring a breaking political story to the viewers as it happens. Our political correspondent, Clodagh Higginson, is at Westminster. Good morning. Clearly embarrassing uh, for John Whittingdale, but pressure now mounting and questions being raised about why the paper didn't publish it at all. Well, that's right, Ron Veer. Now, this all goes back to a relationship Mr Whittingdale had a couple of years ago with a woman, it turns out, is a prostitute. He met her through an online dating site and says that as soon as he realised she was a sex worker, he ended the relationship. I want the next big scoop. I want to be the person to bring the story first to the viewer. Clodagh Higginson is outside number 11 for us this morning. Good morning to you, Clodagh. So this heavy ammunition from the government in support of the Stay campaign and a warning of just how it hit people in the pocket. Well, that's right, Charlotte. Good morning to you. We've all asked for more meat on the bones as to how this could all impact us personally. And this 200-page report today goes into those figures. In a moment, we're going to be speaking to our chief correspondent, Richard Gaysford, who is with voters in Worcester. Before that, our political correspondent, Clodagh Higginson, is in Westminster. Good morning, Clodagh. So not great news for Cameron, this. Good morning, Ben. No, it's pretty gloomy news for Mr Cameron this morning, pretty much like the weather here. And he'll be really trying to keep those storm clouds away from Downing Street. Politics is about people and should be about people, and I think it's all about humanising the story. So you need to go to the viewer and tell the story, the political tale of the day, through their lives. Whatever the details are, this is embarrassing, isn't it? It certainly is. I mean, it's all over the papers today. Five days after Number 10 tried very hard to shut this thing down, uh, we had the initial comment that it was a private matter. I think clearly um, Mr Cameron himself was feeling angry that his uh, late father was being brought into this. Our political correspondent, Clodagh Higginson, is at Westminster. So let's look at this legal challenge first of all, then. What's it all about? Well, yesterday we had the announcement of the official designation of those parties who can campaign to either stay or leave Europe. At our core, I hope, is the desire to bring the truth to people and let people judge for themselves. We're messengers. Don't shoot us. Now, our poll has found that trust amongst politicians generally is pretty low. 